of our respected chairpersons, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be presenting my free paper on ganglion cell layer and inner plexium layer thickness in optical coherence tomography, a better biomarker in toxic optic neuropathy. I do not have any financial or commercial interest in any of the materials discussed in this presentation. This is purely an academic one. Well, toxic optic neuropathy is important optic nerve disease causing acute or subacute progressive symmetric or painless bilateral visual loss followed by dyschromatopsia with central or sicocentral scotoma. Drug in this optic neuropathy can be caused by various medications. Optical coherence tomography is an evolving non-invasive imaging of optic nerve to produce cross-sectional images of optic nerve and retinal ganglion cells. Peripapillary retinal nerve fiber scans uh, measure the peripapillary thickness and ganglion cell layer and inner plexibon layer thickness uh, were analyzed in the optic neuropathy. The objective of the study is to know the GCL and IPL in OCT and compared with RNFL OCT in toxic optic neuropathy. This was a retrospective uh, study done in Neuroophthalmology Clinic at Tertiary Institute of Northeast India. Uh, best corrected visual acuity in Logmar colored vision test in Ishiara, relative efferent pupillate defect, optic nerve evaluation were done in all cases. Humphrey uh, visual field uh, in 30 days two were done uh, to show the defects. Peripapillary retinal nerve fiber layer, GCL and IPL thickness uh, in OCD were carried out in all cases on presentation, first month and third month. 3D segmentation to compute the GCL plus IPL and RNFL thickness were done. Scan were performed in Hidilbar uh, OCT spectralis ART9 frames 3D and 768A scans were taken. Nine cases of toxic optic neuropathies were studied, uh, of which eight were ethambutal induced ATT uh, uh, and one case of uh, antimalaria art artisunate, uh, which was studied for the optic neuropathy. Now, in result, we have compared the on presentation first month and third month for the right eye and visual acuity in logmar was 0.8 uh, plus minus 0.83 on presentation and it reduced to 0 0.10 in one month unit and in third month 0 0.40 unit. Humphrey visual field uh, analyzing mean deviation in decibel were minus 14 uh, unit in on presentation, minus 4.3 two unit in first month and minus 163 in the third month. GCL again was decreased from 82 to 61.02 uh, in third month and PRNFL on presentation uh, was 115 115.31 uh, unit uh, and it also uh, did not show uh, decrease in uh, first month and later on in third month it decreased. In left eye also uh, this visual acuity was seen which was in decreasing trend on presentation first month and third month. Humphrey visual field again was decreasing uh, uh, because of the visual problem and GCL IPL here uh, was in one month it was reduced from the on from the presentation and PRNFL again uh, it did not show imp uh, uh, decrease in first month. So drug-induced optic neuropathy is important entities that dealt by neuroophthalmologists and neurologists. They present with varied manifestation, tuberculosis being the major health problem in India and anti-tuberculous treatment are being used to treat the disease. Ethambutal and isoniazid can cause uh, vision threatening optic neuropathy in intensive period of ATT use. The parameters were compared as I have shown in on presentation first month and third month. GCL and IPL thickness was reduced uh, in the right eye uh, significantly uh, in uh, presentation first and third month. Uh, also in the left eye same was seen. But for RNFL it was not significant in the first month. Our study was comparable uh, with study by Professor Mark Cooper Smith who has taken both 2D and 3D segmentation in uh, uh, the OCT. Limitation of the study was that it was a small size and uh, to conclude reduction of GCL uh, layer and IPL layer in OCT were seen in all cases which were more specific than PRNFL uh, OCT change. GCL and IPL uh, are early 
uh, imaging biomarker uh, in this study for drug-induced toxic optic neuropathy. These are my selected references. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Kuri, Dr. Das, neurologist Gayatri, and all uh, at SSDN. Thank you very much. Any, any questions uh, from the judges? Any comments? But do you see yourself? Uh, do you see yourself getting help from this? You know, from the, the GC, these markers in prognosticating whether this toxic optic neuropathy is going to improve and this is not going to improve. Have you thought along those lines? You know, how can you get yeah. more information, more use out of this information that you are gathering on the GCC and the RNFL? RNFL is increased because of the thickness. You know? <clears throat> yeah, thing is that these studies has been seen with acute optic neuropathies as well as chronic optic neuropathies apart from toxic optic neuropathy. Professor uh, Cooper Smith, uh, when he saw this first study was done in that vein and we tried to replicate this study. Now thing is that uh, uh, provided we have a basic RNFL as well as GCL and IPL uh, measurement in our population that's very very significant again one thing is important that when it presented and the first month of presentation there was a significant reduction in this uh, entity but one point is that whether it will be replicable or not because for wherever the OCTs are there HR OCT it is a very costly instrument and may not be replicable for all medical college and other thing and even GCL and IPL segmentation cost high it cost around say uh, 3000 or 4000 rupees for taking all the scan when the patient are being paid so uh, reliability wise that's one point and you no know, uh, but it scientifically it has a important marker no it's uh, it's it's a very good uh, study uh, dd but uh, the two points what she was trying to say is that can you consider it as an early biomarker uh, uh, we don't know as is that that if you find a particular number would that indicate that this patient is likely to improve because some of them they improve versus uh, so that i think there's something you should look at maybe do a larger study and you will be able to did you find you you looked at the rnfl as well right yeah. so did you find in these uh, patient a particular segment getting more effect like in nmo you know that there is a nasal effect more than temporal do you find something like this it is mostly in the horizontal one that is a intoxic optic neuropathy yeah Thank you.